quick touch of the gloves at center, and both of them start throwing strikes immediately. Mapanda looking for the takedown. Williams, a nice takedown defense in the early going here, but Mapanda secures the takedown. Joe Mapanda said he had been working on his wrestling lately, trying to get in the best wrestlers to work with, as he thought that that was the weaker part of his game and, and working on his weaknesses. And he's really showing you here, this is a swarming attack from Mapanda. And Mapanda spinning around three times, now got the back of Sheldon Williams, both hooks in. Williams defending well against the hands, has got them trapped underneath his arms. Mapanda able to try and get them free now. Completely, his weight was all the way on Sheldon Williams. Williams now, though, transitioning nicely into a guillotine attempt of his own. Excellent job by Williams dealing with that, that position. He could have panicked in that position, but he was very patient. Same patience he showed when he was coming down. And patience, very important, but this is a dangerous position. You don't want to get Joma Panda on top of you if you don't have that guillotine in securely. Williams again trying to secure the guillotine, but Mapanda breaks it away. Nice leg kick there. Big right hand coming from a panda, but he ends up in a headlock here from Williams up against the cage. That was a nice knee from a panda. The panda continuing to work undefeated thus far in his amateur MMA debut or career. A debut fight here for Sheldon Williams. Another nice takedown. takedown. He was able to use his position. He had the double underhooks, and then he was able to block the near side leg of Sheldon Williams and take him to the ground. So good work by Sheldon Williams. And now if, if he can work these knees from the top, it looks like uh, Mapanda wants to go to the jiu-jitsu side of things. Yeah, Mapanda trying to get the hooks in. Williams rolls through that and ends up now in the guard of Mapanda. But on top, Jeremy, this is the second now reversal for Williams here in the first two minutes. Danger here, that triangle is in. Williams has to deal with this or he's in a lot of trouble. Slamming the panda to the ground, it doesn't shake him loose. Williams not yet attacking the position, trying to roll through, that may have caused him more trouble here. But again, Mapanda trying to get that choke in. Williams trying to stack up the weight and prevent the loss of oxygen here. 20 seconds left in round one. Williams trying to pull himself free of Mapanda. Mapanda trying to tighten in that triangle and secure the choke. Well, and here's where Mapanda's length is used against him because his legs are so long, it doesn't make as tight of a triangle. And Sheldon Williams still in there, still working. Referee right on top of it. Short time left here in round number one as uh, Sheldon Williams looks to survive a triangle attempt from Joe Mapanda from the Mark and McPhail Center in Calgary, Alberta. Caught the kick and gave him a right hand for his trouble. Mapanda told me earlier, Jeremy, wanted to work his dirty boxing, wanted to work on closing the distance. He's been able to do that thus far in this fight. And the reason Sheldon Williams is having so much problem getting this throw is he's not putting his hips through. His hips are still staying on the same side. He has to get them all the way through to be able to land that throw. And Joe Mapanda is happy to sit there and take the back of his opponent because Sheldon Williams keeps giving it to him. Mapanda has Williams up against the cage looking to slip out. Some big punches there delivered up against the cage. And now Williams breaks out. Again, trying to come forward, Jeremy, just... Leading with his chin almost, Williams has his head out there. Mapanda landing some good shots, but Williams not faced. And I'm actually very surprised that, that Sheldon Williams is not using more of his karate, not creating that space, not throwing the spinning kicks. Now you cannot kick to the head of an opponent, but you can kick to the body, and a spinning back kick to the body, which is a karate staple, is a very effective technique in the amateur division. Big knee to the body from the panda up against the cage. Again, trying to throw Sheldon Williams back up against the cage. Williams able to break out and leave with the right hand. Some blood coming now from Sheldon Williams' nose. Yeah, and Williams uh, has lost some of the crispness of his punches here in round two, a minute and a half to go, halfway through the round. And again, cranking the neck, using it to uh, roll Mapanda over, but gives up his back. In the meantime, good jiu-jitsu continuation from Mapanda. 
and he can't hit the, the head of an opponent. And I, no. don't, I think the reason that Adam Cheadle didn't call it up is because he's he would be taking away an advantageous position for Joma Panda, and that the punches weren't doing that much damage. So again, now looking for the rear naked choke. It was a triangle choke at the end of round one, and there it is, your winner, Joe Mapanda. He moves to 3-0, and he's convinced that there's a title shot in his future.